What's going on everyone? It's Evan and Megan again. Welcome back to Tope Travels. Today we are leaving the city of Queretaro to head to San Miguel de Allende and we're visiting a friend of mine there who I met in Nicaragua when I lived there five years ago. Megan's very excited because she doesn't do well staying in one location for very long so the fact that we get to leave the city has her bouncing off the walls with excitement so literally yeah and we also hear that this is one of the prettiest cities in Mexico so we're looking forward to seeing it yeah it's been nice we've been here for so long if you're not aware because the motorcycle needed a new clutch and it's been in the shop I'm not gonna bore you with the details but it's been a hassle getting it however it does come in Monday and we should be out of here by Wednesday but this is a nice little kind of detour and so then so let's see what happens over the next couple days to San Miguel and met up with our friend here, Vanessa. And now we're just gonna take a walk through Central, check out some shops and uh, what the city has to offer. Let's check it out. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, well, we were just informed that the Sacred Heart is seen everywhere here in San Miguel because San Miguel is in the heart of Mexico. So it's kind of a repeating theme in the city and you'll see it all over the place. It is also known for its street arts. Oh yeah, it's also known for its uh, old gringos. Hola, Megan, for those who don't uh, understand, why is this so exciting for you? This is macrame. This is my favorite thing in the world. This is the 12 millimeter cotton cord. Usually I use it for tassels, but this is gorgeous. Like this. New <laughs> you see that sacred heart there? Right next to some street art. I have um really similar Yeah. Mine is just silver. Oh, so I don't have the gold, but I'm going to have to go. But again. So this cathedral is based off of a very famous cathedral in Barcelona. I'm forgetting the name of the cathedral. All I know is that it's in Barcelona. Now the guy who built this only had a postcard to work with from the upper half of the building. So he designed this cathedral based off of a postcard. Normally, the lower half of a church is going to be a little bit less decorative and exciting. However, since the guy who was designing this did it, like I said, looking at a postcard in the upper half of it being very decorative, he made the whole church very decorative. So, you can see here the levels of detail throughout the entire church all the way up to the top when normally just the top is going to be that decorative and down towards the bottom here it's going to be a little less exciting. Oh. Welcome to my cribs again. Go ahead. What, what, what is this? My house. This is your house? Yeah. Tell me about your house. This was... Now it's a bank. I don't want to do this. <laughs> These doors are really large because when these buildings were built, they needed to be so you could get carriages through. This was actually a house at one point, but it is now a banker, like some sort of administrative HQ, not nearly as exciting. But I could. 
You can see on the windows and doors here, you have different uh, decorations that they put up for uh, Dia de Muertos. And they leave these up until the beginning of December. And then in the beginning of December, they put up Christmas decorations. It should also be worth noting that all of the information I'm giving you in this video has been passed on to us from Vanessa, who lives here. So if any of this is wrong, you can uh, yell at her in the comments instead of me. But uh, yeah, she has no idea. <laughs> You can also see here on underneath some of the windows, they have this architectural feature and it's of the top of a church, but it's upside down. So let me show you. There it is right there. You can see it if you flipped it upside down, it looks like the top of a church. And then sometimes you just do like a 360, like just like lift your feet up. And, and just like spin. You did a 360? You did a 360? And then we started like dancing in the bar and everything. In Aww. Austin. We this. Maggie's talking about the time that I proposed my love to her at a Bruno Mars concert. <laughs> so we're back downtown here in San Miguel, the Jardin, same place you saw yesterday with the church. We're going to a local concert, and before the concert starts, we're just taking a walk around. It's a Saturday night and it's busy. Check it out for yourself. Oh, <laughs> 
everyone, or actually afternoon. It is almost 3 o'clock. We woke up really late today because we were out super late partying with everyone here, which was a really good time. As you saw, check out the view from our place. It's pretty nice. We're actually on a golf course. <laughs> Not exactly where we'd stay usually, but can't pass up free accommodation. Here's Megan. Hi. She's 100% not hungover. <laughs> How you doing? I'm surviving. Yes. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> well, that's going to be the end of this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave it a, a like. Not this. This. Yeah, one of those is preferred. And then while you're there, click subscribe. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in for this video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Much love. Peace.